Nigeria's president said data collected from Nigerians in rural communities showed that they had not felt the impact of over one trillion naira near community projects. Now, this is serious, whether we like it or not. Well, I would like for it to be broken down for me, but I still have my guests in the studio. I still have Tunji, uh, Abdul Amid, and of course, Dayo Kayode, gentlemen. I'm gonna to come to you, Dayo. One trillion naira. Projects that are supposed to spread across the 770-something local, four local <clears throat> government areas of the country, and not one drop of impact Part has of been say. felt. Part of what we are saying. Now, instead of them to sit down and do what they are supposed to do, Ooh. they be talking of, wait now, who are the them? I will, cut, I will define the them for you. They be talking of constituency projects. And they contract us, and then they want to execute, now, where is that one trillion, one trillion naira now? And then you will now be talking of eight speech. Why, why won't people talk? People will talk now. Go and look at able-bodied men, able-bodied women. This morning, when I said I was listening to you, I was having a, a, a Unilag lecturer in my car. We were driving together to Aran Naja. He said, dog, that somebody that he taught in 2011, a lady, called her yesterday for the first time. Say, sir, I'm calling you so that you know how bad it has been. That for her to be able to feed with her children has become a, a serious problem. Eight, nine year old graduates. And that is the way they are. I have interviewed some Okada guys. In fact, there was one guy, he read elect elect in University of Ife. They will tell you that they are giving them employment. This whole year, so whatever in uh, Oshun State the other time, that were on uh, Jesha Oshun State Road. When you, are, when, when you are going to Ikiti. There was a day I packed, I started interviewing them. Mathematics, architecture, chemistry, food, whatever. How much are they also giving them? 10,000. And that 10,000 doesn't get to them. It's through another contractor. All this money, why can't you, why can't you go to most of those moribund industries and revive them and let people get education? I mean, and let people get work to do. Now, this is the president now talking. Where do we go from here? It's a big issue. And you now be talking of a speech. That is even smaller. Go to all these, uh, this NDDC. You remember what happened in NDDC of recent? Upon all the money put, being put into that place, frittered the way. Why are we like this as a people? And then you see them fighting for election. Fighting for election. Election in Kogi alone, they took how much there? Did you count it? And they said, and they said, they said it's for it's for one project that somebody has done before. Why have you not paid that money before election? Or why don't you keep that money till after election? Okay, so uh, my, 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 next, my next problem. question comes. My next question is for you. So you said the other time now the scene has not been promulgated in the house. Tunji, my question comes to you. Um, we keep hearing these things. You know, it's either you hear a governor and a senator or a House of Rep member fighting over some constituency project or where the money goes. You know, we hear these things. But who checks these monies? We have the RMF, RMA, mm -hmm. FAC. Well, that's one, that one, that no, one no, I, know, that I know, I know, I know, I know. That, that one does, yes, I know. I'm just saying, we have those with their own responsibility. Who checks projects? if they've been executed to the latter? Who probes to see if these projects were done properly or not? Who asks where the money goes? This is my question. I, I, I will not blame the National Assembly member alone. I will share the blame between them and the executive. How so? It's a collaboration. Because as far as, as, far as I know, the, this, project, this constituency project or, the, 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 uh, or so, were well, not to be executed by the members of the National Assembly. But they keep doing it, and it's been done for no, that, 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 over that, that, that's why, that's why I say, 20 years. That's why I say collaboration. 
That's why they are collaboration with the executive. What they, should, what they should do is to put these projects in the in the in the in the budget, and then in the, in, the, in all say, different uh, their respective uh, what's it called ministries or department or whatever or agencies, and then those ministries or department or agency will be the one to assign, to award the contract to the contractor who will handle the matter without. It is not to be. It is not to be executed by the senator or the or the member of the rep that that, that donated that uh, uh, project. Then what we see in practice, situation whereby if I nominate social sort of projects, one, two, three, four, five projects, I will be the one to bring contractor that will also execute the project. In other words, bring the contractor here. That means I will be the one to take the contractor to the ministry uh, the, the responsible for that project to say this is the person you award the contract to. In, the, in, in other words, indirectly, you are still awarding the contract back to me. But isn't, so, isn't, that's, that's why I say it's a collaboration yeah. between the executive but and even, national assembly. But even if the someone, for some reason, somewhere, thought that this would have been a great idea to yeah. make those projects work if the senators were involved, and we have been doing this for so many years, and you know what they say, you do the same thing over and over, hoping mm -hmm. for a different result. No, I mean, that's the same result. Isn't no, that they, they, they claim, they claim, they claim they execute most of these projects. But if you see the project they say they claim to, uh, to have executed, you will laugh. Some of them will say they did the to uh, public toilets. Mm. Some of them will say they did the uh, water. Uh, they will do about Whoa. one, two, or th three tank uh, water mm, mm. for the entire community. They say that's, mm. that's over a million, or a million or so. Mm. You know, they will just do one, two, or three. Or some of them will share bicycle or, or, mm. or, 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 or we barrel or we barrel to people and say, or some, some people will share, uh, <laughs> what's it called, radio. It's a small, small, uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Transmission. Trans transistor. That, yes, to people. Let so those are the issues. Things that will not benefit anybody. Some of them will say it's, it's, sharing five, it's, it's, it's empowering them with 5,000 naira from mm, the constituency uh, uh, project. So the issue is that I will Let's even blame. say that those in the rural communities might be unaware. They might not understand the fact that these constituency projects are supposed to be real projects that would better their lot. But there are those of us who know better who may not be living in those communities, but we could fight for the rights of those communities. Where are those people? Do you know, do you know, you know the other time you were asking me when, when, when we're talking about this uh, ASP, that this is and that. Do you know that if my brother now, Barista Tunji Abdullah Meshu, okay, even let's, let's even leave that. Let's go back to, let's go back to what happened between the Vice President and, uh, and the Timmy Frank. Timmy Frank, according to him, said he did his due diligence and came up with facts and figures and slam it on a, on a, the first person. No, 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 sorry. Um, this man... FIRS. Uh, 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 FIRS. Sorry, this man in FIRS. Okay? What have we seen from it? Tim Frank said, if you know I am lying, oh yeah, let's go to court. But as if you should go to court and nobody is talking. Let me let me let me have to it. And you nobody know, is talking. You know, initially I said there are two people. Now you've reminded me that uh, we are th there are three to be blamed. The National Assembly, the executive, and us. All of us. We, we don't do monitoring of the project. We don't even care about what we don't are, what, do been, what 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 has happened. But the, the issue is that we, everybody have this like a strategy do. That if I report what will happen, nothing will happen. So everybody say, let me just say uh, what is my wala. You know, we don't we don't monitor enough. Even we don't court. ask questions enough. Do we court. don't we don't do thorough findings court, of whatever yes. that is happening. I don't know how court but to how do are, it's possible. Yeah. How are people even supposed to know what projects are to be done? No, in the first place? by going through the budget. You go through the budget because they are supposed to be in the budget. So the, you, the, you, the, you look at what look how many pages have you, how many pages have you read in that in this year budget? Ah, don't say that. You know, you know, we are all we are we are all about to ask that is question. It, is it huh? public How many people are even interested? Exactly, people in don't finding read. out what the what the budget looks like and which part of that budget is going to benefit. I was us. I was at a meeting today. Somebody was saying an elderly fellow, nothing less than forty five years, saying that she doesn't know how Nigerian constitution even looks like. Talkless or reading. And she's not a liar. Some people will say I'm not a liar. How should I be oh, reading constitution? Wrong? If yeah. you as as a citizen, you mm -hmm. must have. Uh, a even if you, even when you read that, that constitution, will you know about constituency project yet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Constitution yeah, because I'm not I'm not aware I'm not aware there's project. anything in the constitution project, project in, in, in the constitution that talks about. I'm not aware of any law 
that talks about constitutional uh, project. It's just a, a, an official yeah. of the members of the National Assembly uh, and accepted, acceptable to the executive, not from this regime alone. Mm, 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 it's aside from the brought in by the executive. Executive brother innovation into National Assembly for there to be proper to be taken out to, Okay, to be catered for, to sure, cater for them. But don't let us be. So that remember about, this is about, about the judge's oh, regime. Hi, I, remember, I remember so now. So as to be able to make sure that they come towards him. Do you understand? So whenever they are looking and for anything. People now decide to follow it up. Now, for you to follow uh, 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 all these projects, all you need to do is to Google uh, budgets. Then you go to the session that deals with your state. How many then people Then go to the are session that deals with your constituency. That's why I said okay. we don't do research. Okay. No, it's part of we are educating the public so that they okay. know how to do it, all how right. to monitor it. So the number one flaw that we have all agreed on is that we, the people, are less interested. Sure. Secondly, our leaders have also realized that we're disinterested. And well, so... Not they do whatever they want. Done. Yeah. So my question quickly, one minute each, where do we go from here? How do we deal with this? The president has said, oh, the ICPC is going to go after contractors. But what about the people who are supposed to be overseeing these projects in the name of our representatives and our senators? Not Why present. always the simple man? No, they, they, because, because people who are supposed to be there are not, uh, the people who are looking at them, who appointed them, have not committed an offense. There's no offense that says uh, if you fail to ask questions, you have committed. There's there no, there, there nothing in the law that says if you fail to ask questions, you have committed an offence. The issue is that, like I said earlier on, our problem is enforcement of our law. This is not new. They know where these projects are. They know who and who are supposed to execute these projects. They know who and who these projects are awarded to. How many of them have been picked? How many of them have been picked? None. This, this issue of the president even telling me uh, social trillion have been spent for over a clinical year and nothing has happened. Must he tell us? Can't he call his, uh, uh, what's he called? The, those in, in charge to say, look, I want you to investigate this particular, I want you to investigate this, and I want you to investigate this. And when they, when they, after investigation, they come out with that report and then pick all those, all, all those they, they, they think they should pick. They just they make this, this one to me, I see it as a political statement. And nothing will happen thereafter. So I, I think until we decide to do, to, to work our talk by doing the needful, we may not get anywhere. Finally. For me, for me, uh, I think the people too, we have a role to play. Look at what happened to that man. Have we ever, a, have we ever been playing any role? That's what I'm saying. Look regard. at what happened to are that we, man from Are you blaming us? Look at that. Where is Sowori today? Look, look at that. They, 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 is he being detained? They, they don't want to release him because if we release him, he may be knocked down by car. Is he there? So, and you want somebody else to, you know, that, that was that was the excuse. So, Give so, it today again. So, so you're saying. That you would never speak up about I got the, I got the, I society because no, you would really hit up. The, to, see two things, two things we, the, that should happen. Look at that guy, the legislator from Daura. When he went there, his constituency people. What happened? They held him responsible for border closure that is causing uh, a petroleum a hike in petroleum prices and yeah. all that. So we should be holding them responsible. Okay. Secondly, Quickly. people Quickly. like me, I will always be holding this, my brother, responsible too, for oh. making court processes to be very, very uh, uh, expensive. Uh, I will be executive. Do you understand? So if, if that thing is not too expensive, I should be able to sue my senator to court, or members or reps to court, or my okay. governor to court. All right, gentlemen, uh, it's, a, it's been an interesting evening, but I want to thank you for this conversation. Tunja Dulamid is a legal practitioner. Dayo Kayode is a political technocrat. Very interesting gentleman. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. So we'll take a short break and bring you our plus packages. When we return, I will give you my take. The Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, has condemned the recent polls in Kogi and Bayelsa states, describing them as a low point in Nigeria's history. The executive director of the center, Idiot Hassan, while presenting the CDD's post-election report in Abuja, said the polls were marred by vote trading, vote buying, underage voting, and multiple voting. She called on President Mohamedou Buhari to rescue the electoral process from collapse. Mrs. Hassan also called on stakeholders to step up and ensure adequate reforms in the electoral process, saying history will judge Nigerians unfairly for doing nothing. The level of malpractices in this election was so pervasive as reported by our observers on ground. 
Our observers revealed that violence and disruption of voting constituted 66.21% of the total reported incidents. Vote trading, which was also widespread across the state, constituted 28.38% of the total reported malfeasance, while other age and multiple voting account for 5.41% of the total incident reported. The conduct of the Kogi and Bayesa polls is indicative of an electoral process that is fast deteriorating. With Kogi State as a major reference point, the two major parties engaged in the electoral um, misconduct. An interrogation of the FT turnout figure declared in particular for Mokene and Adavi local government, for instance, could not stand proper logic. And for us at the CDD, we are still investigating those figures. CDD therefore makes this urgent call to action that a robust multi-stakeholders response is needed to rescue our electoral process from the brink. CDD calls on President Muhammad Buhari to urgently provide the leadership needed to rescue the electoral process and by extension the entire democratic system from imminent collapse. We shouldn't forget key moments in our national history. 1964 elections. 1983 elections, in which it became clear to the citizens of this country that there was state complicity to ensure free and fair elections do not happen in this country. We are back in that situation, and what is under threat is the survival of democracy in this country. People are out for temporary gains, regain my state and take over gubernatorial power. Fine, you can regain your state, but if the citizens of this country feel that power is not legitimate, that power is not based on choice of the Nigerian people, then what you are doing is making the whole of democracy extremely fragile and it becomes difficult to maintain a democratic regime when specifically key state agencies with responsibility for the rule of law and the protection of the rights of citizens are themselves agents for dismantling the rule of law, agents for perpetrating violence against Nigerian people, and above all, stealing the mandate of the Nigerian people. Particular report is uh, as uh, depicted a very sad situation. Now, beyond this press conference and the call of the president, which may not be needed, uh, because as of this morning, the president has congratulated the winner of the election in Bayesa. I think that of course you will come any moment from now. But at the same time, the president also condemned the violence that marred the election in Bayesa. Uh, is this it high time that CDD and other civil society organizations sat down to ensure that the criminal elements subverting the democratic process in Nigeria. It's time for my take. One trillion naira spent on projects over 10 years and nothing to show for it? Look, who checks the government? No one, I guess. Who are they accountable to? No one, I guess. Now, guess why? We weren't asking questions. We are still not asking questions. I don't think we plan to ask questions. We're not interested in making and keeping our leaders accountable. Because if we were, our budgets wouldn't be padded. Our projects wouldn't be abandoned. Our roads wouldn't become debt traps. And our hospitals wouldn't be such a disaster. Now, if we continue like that and act like it doesn't concern us, then our treasury looters will keep looting at our expense and that of our children. So the ball is in your court. When you decide to make a change, it will happen. I am Mary Anna Cohn, and it's been Plus Politics.